hello everybody welcome to my channel so you need a personal portfolio website for yourself right so that's why you clicked in this video and in this video i am going to show you how you can create a full professional uh, personal portfolio website for yourself you can be a doctor you can be a student you can be a teacher you can be a player or anything you can be anything you can be a freelancer or you can be an online service provider it doesn't matter you should you always have a personal portfolio website where you will display your services you provide and talk about yourself to your clients and let the world know about you so this is very important to have a personal portfolio website for yourself so if i go to google and search you can as you can see if i go to the images here these are some of the examples of a personal portfolio website so looks pretty good yes and if i go to the theme forest they are selling some of the templates for building a personal portfolio website but in this video i am going to create a personal portfolio website as an example for full free of course but you have to own a domain name for yourself and own a hosting of, for this domain and as you can see these are some of the beautiful portfolio websites and let's close this we have another example let's go to the backend of our site or the cpanel so this is my website and if i search my website and say slash cpanel i will have to log in into my cpanel it's loading a little bit let's sign in and now i just have to add a domain i have a domain already so in for creating the video i am not buying any new domain if you don't know how to uh, buy a domain or a hosting i will make a video for this so for now let's create a subdomain under my main domain and let's create a professional portfolio website on it so let's say like subdomains and let's say portfolio and this is the domain main domain and let's create it it will take a little time please wait with patience after the subdomain is created we have to install wordpress on it and in this video you are going to learn after watching this video we you will be able to create a website for yourself so this is successfully created so let's go back and go to the c panel and if i scroll down okay let's go login again and some error occurred but don't worry we will check the subdomain is available again yeah so the subdomain is available here so if i scroll down here you will see the script called wordpress if i press wordpress here i can uh, choose custom installation and i don't have the ssl certificate installed now ssl means the log or the protection for the viewers and i have to select the portfolio dot developer white dot xyz and in directory please clear it i don't need any directory and please choose the latest version of the wordpress let's say admin and let's keep a password i'm sorry okay so here you can enter the gmail of yourself email of yourself or you can keep it like this and site name let's say okay we can edit them later let's keep it like this the language is english and let's select this theme and here is the co image copyright notice just accept all and 
put your email here for the installation and if I click install it will, it will take uh, one or two minutes but yeah as you can see I was going to tell you it will not take more time so let's take a look at my site build now this is not looking beautiful and of course this is not a portfolio site and if I go to the back end of my site okay so as you can see here and let's close the site here and for installing a premium installing a full free theme for the portfolio site just go to the appearance and themes and say add new of course I am going to go for the extra as you can see this is the uh, most famous one here for the free free themes you have a lot of options here but extra is best believe me I have been using extra for a lot of my websites let's scroll down extra is activated after installing extra let's click get started with extra it will uh, install a plugin called starter templates and we we, we can um, install a or import a starter template for the portfolio site so build your website now let's click elementor my favorite one and here it will take a lot of time for loading i don't know why it takes a lot of time that's why i am clicking here again and i hope it comes right now okay so if i scroll down and say and look for the personal portfolio one okay as you can see here this is the personal portfolio one you can install that or i had another one in my mind but let's go with this one and skip and continue you can choose the fonts everything and you can choose the default colors but we can set them later let's continue and put your name or you can skip that let's keep my name I am an expert of course I am expert for myself and I agree to receive your newsletter and blah 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 and submit and build my website okay here I have to give an email address okay I my mistake okay so this is building the site this will take uh, some time I am not pausing the video so I have to discuss a few more things to you after installing the installing the uh, starter template of the portfolio site you can edit it by or you can design the theme by your own of course by the plugin Elementor which is the best for any WordPress uh, best between any WordPress builders page builders so it doesn't matter uh, which the which designs the theme provides us we can of course design anything by Elementor on our website so I will of course go with Elementor if you don't like Elementor you have another options like uh, Gutenberg or classic editor and etc so you can also do that but for now I will of course create with Elementor so as you can see this is saying congratulations respect to this guy this guy made this free uh, theme and let's view my website wow as you can see this is the women here I am a web developer Natalie E Watson of course your name is not Natalie E Watson so we can change all that and we can as you can see we can edit with elementor here but let's close close this one here and of course and we can go to the back end 
okay so our main uh, task for this video is to design this website for ourselves at least we can design the home page so we can uh, so you can edit the another pages for you for by your own and let's close the back end and if I scroll down scroll up here I can edit it Elementor let's close my cPanel let's close the Google one and basically I can edit everything here you can let's close the navigator okay here as you can see the first things comes in your mind is the uh, women here you, you can of course replace her with your own photo so I don't have a photo selected right now but if I choose this image here and go to media library as you can see here you can uh, look at the dimension of the image so please create a image like with this dimension with your own photo you can of course do that easily and insert here for inserting this you have to go to upload files and upload the select the file here and insert it so let's keep it like this and for editing the uh, title here let's go to the pen button and i am a web developer if you are a say let's say i am i am doctor Donald Junior Trump okay so here are the LinkedIn Instagram Dribble and uh, balance or Beyonce profiles so for editing the profile URLs you can go to this icon list here as you can see these icons are displayed here beautifully if I click this item here as you can see I can choose the link here so here you can provide your link and this is the uh, for choosing the icon you can of course choose the icon from the icon library here so if I search LinkedIn as you can see I can choose this one instead of the old one so this is looking more beautiful now so this is same for the all of them and this is the short description you can choose the pen button and write anything by your own so let's keep it like this this is the button here if you, if you click the button you can set a link for the blog button so for example we can say contact me whenever someone is in hurry and wants a project done by you they can just use the button for contacting you so you can of course choose a link here for the contact us page or for your site or of course you can say by a slash and make a section for contact form here so this is the hero section done for now and here about me it's fine now here you can uh, select any text uh, like this one similar to this one and this is just a uh, line break or divider yeah so the divider looks good here i'm not going to remove that and this is a heading i believe yeah this is a heading and you can of course design this heading if you want to for designing this heading okay so let's uh, make clear one thing this is the content here if you want to write anything you can write here and for designing the full text you have to go to the style and you can select the text color as you can see if i move the move my mouse it will display like this so if i want to blue one you can of course choose this so blue one is looking good okay so let's go to the blue again and leave the mouse so here you can make uh, make the size better and choose any font family like Arial and many more you have so this was an example uh, the previous one was of course good so let's click CTRL 
z and everything will be like the previous one so this is a description again or text again text again here here are the text and this is a button again so here this is important this is looking really really cool now so this is a picture i believe yeah this is the image here and here the red background is by this column so after um, in one section you have a column you can choose multiple columns and this is a inner section uh, in uh, inside one big section insert one main section and uh, inside the inner section you have columns so in this column of course I believe they have uh, did some uh, padding and margin settings as you can see if I go to the advanced I was right they have 30 30 margins for the uh, four sizes and if I click uh, let's say zero as you can see this is uh, ho looking horrible now so if I click 40 again this will make it little uh, smaller so they have also added the padding like this if I say 130 this will uh, uh, make the this will move the image from right with 130 pixels so if I click backspace and this will be like uh, this will be like what that was before so this is the image the image is rounded so how to make a image rounded you can go to the advanced and let's say border okay they did this by okay so they did this by style and for making a image rounding you can go to the border radius and we, you can of course as you can see the changes are happening here so if i say 400 this will be a rounder image so let's make it like 10 and this is looking good now so for changing the image please do like this one here and these are the again the heading and uh, subheading this is a box they take, took a box like the this one and how they choose the color for the column i forgot to mention they go to the style and set the color as red if i say a green this will be green here as you can see this is a green background now so okay so this is again green background now so they of course did the similar for this one as white background and inside this column they uh, took a image after the image they took a heading and a, a text editor then a button or icon yeah they took a icon and you can of course change the icon from here if i say this one this is looking different now as you can see here so after um, designing this one you can of course copy this and if i say paste it will be four here so three was looking good so let's delete this you can of course uh, choose your services here like if you are a doctor you can say like uh, what are the services you provide one number one service number two number three and etc so yeah that was it and here maybe there is a video i believe or let's take a look what is it okay here they choose the icon so the section may look like a video but this is not a video happening here so if you want to know how you can add a video instead of an image let's click uh, another section make another section and inside this section we have a column inside this column we can choose a video from here and let's drag and drop here for displaying a video you can of course the the best option is to insert a youtube video here but if you don't uh, want to add a youtube video you you have to create a video on your uh, pc and of course you can upload that video on your site and 
let's go to the media and here you can upload a video after uploading this video you have to tap on this video and uh, copy the file url or file link and you can choose the file link here so uh, for example if i want to show a youtube video here let's click a video of cristiano ronaldo i just copy the video url and choose the video url here so as you can see this is the video here i just copy from this video so this is the video as you can see so let's close this one i hope that you understand this let's close this one okay so here in this section he they took a image with the background yeah and for this sections background they took a image and this is the image where you can see the dimension of the image uh, as you can see the dimension with pixels you can create a similar uh, image with dimension for yourself and you can of course insert it here so let's scroll down these are the same like uh, previous one wow 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 so let's stop it this one uh, these are the simple task but this one what is it let's click this one this is a progress bar called in elementor if i go to here and search uh, these are all the elementor widgets so if i search like uh, progress bar this is what a progress bar called so if i go to select this one and say uh, this is the inner text of the progress bar if i say like hi it will look like this and let's close this one and you can choose your percentage for your any of your skills like if you are a doctor and you know 85 80 percent of your doctor knowledge you can say like 80 percent so if i say i am not a doctor and you are a new doctor you can say like i am 30% knowledge full of doctor so let's keep it like this you are a good doctor I believe and this is the same one as you can see here these are the same displaying the services of our experiences and here as you can see my portfolio this is the most important part in a portfolio website and if I choose choose this one this is the image carousel so you can for, for this one here you can choose the images of your made uh, previous made websites and choose five images here don't worry I will show you how you can do this just uh, take a image color carousel from here let's say image carousel and drag and drop here we will make something like this one and here as you can see if i tap this one here instead of tapping this one if i tap this one you i don't have a image selected i can of course select the image and from media library i can select uh, this one this one this one and this one okay i have selected three and insert gallery so after inserting this gallery as you can see i have three images here so these are these are the images not uh, sized perfectly so perfectly size them let's take a look at this one they are saying image size full so we can set our email size full here okay so as you can see this is looking beautiful now and they have round borders we can say like uh, go to the style and for the images we can choose border radius so as you can see the changes are happening so this was the edi edition 
of a custom image care as well so let's close this one here at the part of your the testimonials of your clients what your clients say this is a block quote or icon just you can of course choose the icon you already can and this is the image so you can choose the image of your client this guy this woman here this guy again so this is a subscribe button here with the email address and this is for forms i will make a separate video how you can create a contact form on your website so your visitors can contact you and this is a footer i have footer tutorials on my uh, on my youtube channel called web with white this channel of course and this was pretty much for the home page of a portfolio website i hope you enjoyed this video and wow that was a long time of 25 minutes with you if you are still watching this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment down what you have learned in this video and if this video was really helpful for you and share to all of your friends and i think you everybody should have a 